Okay, now carry on with examples from exercise 5.2, questions 3, C and 5. Notice I've written out the general term for a plus b to the power of n, uh, and this is the term, and this uh, equation, so to speak, or this uh, general term is given in your formula sheet, and now I'm going to teach you how to actually apply this uh, general term for a plus b to the power of n. So let's first look at 3C. Okay, for 3C, it is given that we have the uh, binomial there, 3x squared minus 1 over 2y to the power of 13. So, the general term is used to find uh, like any term you want in the binomial. In this case, it is to the power of 13. Okay, you have achieved, you, when you expand outwards, right, you actually have 14 terms. But usually, we don't want all 14 terms. We're actually looking for very specific terms. So, in this case, they want the general term for this. Let's begin. We apply the formula. So, we say tr plus, uh, subscript r plus 1. Okay, we just apply and choose r. So, we say 13 choose r. Okay, then we have a, which is 3x squared to the power of n minus r, 13 minus r. Then we have negative 1 over 2y to the power of r. Okay, just uh, take a look at this. Uh, so far, so good. I don't think this is uh, actually very difficult there. Alright, and we are actually done. In this case, We this is actually the general term for 3c. That's all the questions asking. Do not expect the questions in your exam to be this easy. But um, it's a start anyway. Next one, we do question 5. Okay, for question 5, it works like this. They actually ask, find the coefficient of x cubed and x to the power of 6 in the expansion of 1 minus x squared over 4 to the power of 10. So I copy down 1 minus x squared over 4 to the power of 10. So first what I find is the tr plus 1 term, which is n choose r, 10 choose r, a to the power of n minus r, a is 1, okay, n minus r, n is 10, minus r, b to the power of r, negative x squared over 4 to the power of r. Okay, 1 to the power of anything still remains as 1, so I'm left with is 10 choose r, negative x. If you multiply the power in, you'll be x to the power of 2r over 4 to the power of r. And this is my general term, okay, for 1 minus x squared over 4 to the power of r. Uh, 1 minus x squared over 4 to the power of 10, rather, sorry. Okay, so for the term in x uh, squared, right, so now what they actually want from us is the term in uh, x cubed, rather. Okay, for the term in x cubed, Okay, first right, if you want x to the power of 3, you notice 10 choose r is simply a number, 4 to the power of r is also a numerical number, but you want something x to the power of something. So in this case, if you look at this carefully, there is uh, only one thing right that um, can contribute right to give you uh, x to the power of 3 is this x to the power of 2r. So I just say that 2r is equals to 3 r is equals to 3 over 2 okay notice right all these numbers here 10 minus r and r okay 10 choose r it must be a whole number so in this case it's actually an error so we say that uh, there are no terms in x cube and thus the coefficient of x cubed is equal to 0. This if no terms means no x cubed term, so straight away we get uh, x. the coefficient of x cubed is 0. Now, similarly, if we want to find the term in x to the power of 6, okay, so same idea for the term in x to the power of 6. The only thing that can give me x to the power of something is here x to the power of 2r. So I say, straight away I say 2r is equals to 6. r equals to 3. 
Ah, in this case, it is possible because um, we can actually get uh, R equals to 3 is a whole number. So therefore, I say T 3 plus 1 is equals to, okay, let me shift the camera a bit, T 3 plus 1, we just sub it back into the formula here, 10 choose 3 1 to the power of 10 minus 3 is 7 negative x squared over 4 to the power of 3 you simplify everything 10 choose 3 is 120 okay 1 to the power of 7 is still 1 negative x cubed all right negative x squared okay what we will get is negative to the power of 3 negative positive negative again so for odd numbers it still remains or odd powers it still remains as negative x to the power of 2 times 3 is x to the power of 6 4 to the power of 3 will give me 64 so if we get this here we simplify further 120 over 64 Okay, we get 15 over 8. So we get negative 15 over 8 x to the power of 6. And the question is, find the coefficient. So I said, therefore, the coefficient of x to the power of 6 is negative 15 over 8. And I am done with question 5.